The symptoms of colorectal cancer can be things like bleeding or constipation, a change in the way the bowel movements work. But sometimes, and in most cases, there are no symptoms at all before someone is discovered to have colorectal cancer. That's why it's so important to uh, anticipate that and do colonoscopy starting about age 50 in most people and to go look for the polyps and see if there's going to be any problem developing. In order to reduce your risk of colorectal cancer, first of all, it's important to know and comply with the screening guidelines for colonoscopy. Now, there are certain people who are at higher risk to get colorectal cancer. People who have themselves already had colon polyps, people whose parents, brothers, or sisters have had colorectal polyps or cancer, people who have had breast or female genital cancer, or people who have had inflammatory bowel disease for a long time are all in the higher risk group to develop colorectal cancer. There are several screening tests for colorectal cancer. The best one and the gold standard is called colonoscopy, and that's a procedure whereby we look with a flexible instrument through the whole large intestine. The large intestine is about six feet long, and so this flexible camera can go through the large intestine, have a look and see if there are any polyps, and the instrument can also remove the polyps when they are seen so as to prevent colorectal cancer from developing.